بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد اي الحبت في الله توبه الى الله عز وجل coming back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the many many sins that we commit is something it is the wadifa of the believer it is the the work the lifelong work of the believer of trying to acknowledge and realize his or her shortcomings and the need for tawbah in our lives to be making that a stable pillar in our lives and the ulama of islam they say that tawbah is an obligation it's something that's wajib uh, from every sin that you commit and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Kulu ibn Adam khata wa khayran khata'ina tawabun That all the children of Adam, they make mistakes. And the best of those uh, people who make those sins is those who repent. So if we want to be of the highest people from Ahlul Sunnah, Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, then we should be striving to make tawbah to Allah Azza wa Jal. That that is a uh, something thabit in the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It is something that is affirmed and a principle and qaida and rule in Islam and a rule of ahlul sunnah wal jamaa is always striving to come closer to Allah because everything we do in Islam is about coming closer to Allah azza wa jalla. You're fasting your salat, your zakat, your hajj, your umrah, all of the, your, your, the, the actions that you do, your pilgrimage, your fasting, your prayer, your supplication, it's all to Allah. It is all for Allah. It is all worship of Allah Azza wa Jal. Establishing the ties of kinship. Do that for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and receive reward for it. Taking care of your family. Do that for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and receive reward for it. Try to make sulh or rectification between your brother, Muslim brothers and sisters. This is a part of ibadah and worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ahabati fillah, the ulama state that tawbah has three conditions. And this is in accordance with what Imam an nawawi rahmatullah said. He mentioned three conditions that if that your action of repentance does it has to do with the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not the rights of other people, then it must contain these three conditions. He said Ahduha <clears throat> is that the person must leave the sins. They must leave the sins that they are repenting from. So for example, if you are struggling with alcoholism, then you must leave that alcohol, if you're struggle, struggling with meth abuse, then leaving the meth, that you must not uh, smoke crystal meth or, or take it however you take it, that you must leave that. The second condition is that you should feel sorrow for the sin that you did. So if you fell into fornication, then you should feel sorrow in your heart to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you did that action. So it's not sufficient that just you feel sorrow because anyone who has iman, if they have belief, then they feel sorrow for, they, and, and they, for the actions that they do. When they've committed, they smoke the little weed, they feel sorrow for that. But what's going to be a part of the toba is that they leave that smoking of the weed and they feel sorrow and they have sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this brings about the third condition is that they are determined not to return to that sin ever. And Imam Noah says that if they do if one of those conditions is not met, then their toba, their repentance, is not uh, sincere and it's not uh, considered toba. It is not repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you miss one of those conditions, so the person who feels sorrow for the sin that they committed the wine that they drank and they 
uh, but however they're not determined to leave it, then this person is not committed repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is not true repentance. And in Islam we repent to Allah. We don't repent to uh, the people. Although you can ask forgiveness for someone for some wrong that you did, if it relates to, and this brings up the fourth condition, if it relates to the, uh, to the, to the rights of other people, then you should return that right. If you stole something from someone, then return it to them. Say, please forgive me for that. Along with those other conditions of Tawbah, you, you seek to return what you, you took from that person. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمَ حَبْتِ فِي اللَّهِ وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا أَيُّ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Repent all of you believers, all of you believers, Allah addresses the mu'mineen, all of us, all of those who have iman, Allah addresses us. He says, Tubu, and this means, Ahabati fillah, we've stated this countless times, and this way we can learn this principle uh, in Islam, that whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands you with something, it means it's an obligation, unless there's something in the shara, something in the, in the text, to show us that it is no longer, it is not an obligation, but that it's mustahab, or it takes another uh, Sharia ruling. So the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us, He said, Tubu illallah, jami'an. He commanded us all to make Tawbah. It shows us that Tawbah is an obligation upon every Muslim, every believer. It's an obligation on him or her to repent to Allah. And then Allah says, La'allakum tuflihun. This is in order that you will be successful. If you want success, all of us want success. رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنًا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنًا وَقِينَا ذَابَ النَّارِ O Allah, give us success in, uh, uh, in this life as well as the hereafter and protect us from the fire. O Allah, give us reward in this life as well as the next life and protect us from the fire. Every believer wants this. Every believer wants success in this life as well as the hereafter. Allah gives us the, the tools for success. He gives us the road map to success. He says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا أَيُّ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ That if you want to uh, have success, then repent from all of your sins. All of you, all of you believers, أَيُّ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ In order that you will have success. If you want success, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then make tawbah to him. Repent. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Astaghfiru rabbukum thumma tubu ilayh. He says, and seek forgiveness from your Lord, and then repent to him. Wa qala ta'ala, Ya yuladheena amanu, tubu ilallahi tawbatan nusuha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O oh, you who believe, again addressing the believers, ahli iman, a mu'minun, repent to your Lord, repent to Allah. Sincere repentance, showing us that sincerity, ikhlas, we have to have sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meeting those conditions that Imam Nawawi said, that you have to be determined not to, to go back to that sin. That you have, to be, that, uh, you have to stop doing the sin, and you have to feel sorrow for the sin. Having sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is tawbah, tawbah to nusuha. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept us, accept from us uh, uh, our... our uh, our tawbah and accept for us our istighfar and all of our ibadah and may Allah forgive us of our many sins wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam